What's going on guys? Back at it again with another video here on the channel. So in this video, we're going to be doing something completely different than I've ever done here on the channel. I'm mainly a Let's Play channel, so if that's something you guys are into, do me a huge favor and like this video and subscribe to the channel because it really does help a lot. As you can see, I definitely need all the help I can get. But I wanted to do this test because I'm probably going to be the most relatable person here uh, that has done testing for this console. Everybody that I've ever seen doing reviews and everything, they always have like gigabit, you know, internet speeds or anything higher than 100 megabits per second. And in my specific case, I live in a rural area here in the state of Arizona that only has 10,000 people that live here. That's not a lot of people. Comparatively speaking, obviously you have Phoenix and Tucson that have in the millions, I only have 10,000. So along with rural areas, a lot of the big problems here in rural areas is the lack of great internet speed. So my personal internet speed, I pay for 50 up and like 30 or 30 down or something like that or some, something along those lines. But I took the liberty of taking it one step further and actually testing it by myself. But before I get there, I actually tested out the internet uh, requirements. According to Google, I'm on Polygon's website, but according to Google, you need a, at, at, uh, at bare minimum... 35 megabits per second download speeds to be able to stream 4k quality uh, gameplay HDR video at 60 frames per second and 5.1 sound that's something to take into consideration because if this is something to take note of I should have more than enough to be able to stream this kind of quality however I will say this because I do make let's play videos here on the channel I'm gonna be aiming for 1080p uh, at 60 frames per second so I should have way more than enough to be able to test that so we'll be testing it here on the video as you can see here I went over to speedtest.net and I actually tested out my internet speed download speed which I have about 47.21 download speech which is the important portion to take note and to consider when trying to play stadia so I should again have no issues whatsoever I tested all of this one time so I should have no issues whatsoever being able to stream this game here on the channel. And I took it one step further than that and I actually went to Google's own uh, website, the Stadia's website, to be able to test my internet speeds according to their testing software. So going over to Google's website, you can see that for some reason it gave me a 73, which I'll, I'll take it if my internet speed is, uh, if my internet provider is being generous to me, then okay, I'll take it. But Again, I only have, I only pay for 50 up and like 15 to 30 down, or uh, excuse me, wrong way. Uh, I pay for about 50 down and about 15 to 30 uh, download speeds or upload speeds, excuse me. So my internet should be more than enough, but I don't think this is very accurate. So I don't think that their uh, testing thing is very great. But I also did the the smart thing and test my latency. I went to gcping.net.com uh, and tested out my latency, my medium latency according to this. This is the best that I've ever tested out and it says that I have a 30, uh, 39 uh, milliseconds, I believe that's what it is. I'm not a tech savvy individual, so uh, I know bare minimum to be able to test all this kind of stuff. So uh, take that into consideration as well when making the determination for yourself if this is something for you guys. but. So as you can see, I live in Arizona, again, a rural city, and the closest place that I'm pinging to is Los Angeles, which is very far, and this is, again, the, the best I've ever had, but I've gotten the worst up to 55 uh, milliseconds, which should not be the greatest for streaming. So we'll find out if this works. So now that we're over here to Stadia's Google uh, Let's Play, play section or interface to be able to stream gaming i wanted to say something really quick i only am aiming towards 1080p because i'm looking to make content on console exclusives like like guilt for example that's a game i want to play as a matter of fact as you can see down here i already purchased the game and it's something i want to play i won't be testing it here today but i will be playing it in the channel if everything goes good right now so this is the most important portion of the game, obviously. Everything up here, as far as my speed test and my, my latency test, seems to be doing more than fine. And, of course, it should be more than enough to be able to play these games. So, uh, 
I'm going to start off by playing Destiny 2, but on top of that, I'm also going to test Samurai Showdown since these are the two free games that came with the Pro Subscription, which, of course, the Google Stadia Founders Edition comes with three months of Pro Subscription for free. But, so, if this test goes good, we're definitely going to be covering the game here on the channel, but if it goes very, very bad, I we're, not, we're, we're just not going to be playing it, unfortunately. But, with that being said, uh, I'm going to be using the black... Uh, Xbox One controller, so let's go ahead and cut into some gameplay. Alright guys, so before I forget, I did get the Stadia Founders Edition, as you can see here. I managed to get my hands on it, and I did want to talk about the controller really quick. Uh, this is obviously the, the custom blue controller that it comes with, but really quick before I talk about that controller, I wanted to talk about the PS4 controller. The DualShock 4 is my go-to control as far as comfortability goes. This is by far the best controller uh, of this generation as far as how it feels in my hands. The buttons feel great, everything. The, the controller just feels amazing. But the reason I don't use it for PC gaming is because every single time I plug it in, it always alters my settings for audio and I just don't like, you know, messing with it every single time I want to play a game on PC. So I actually play on my Xbox One controller, which by no means is it a bad controller. I just personally prefer the PS4 controller. It does feel comfortable and everything. The buttons feel great and stuff. But again, I think I like the PlayStation 4 controller. The reason why I say that is because this controller actually takes elements of both and even the Pro Controller, which I don't have right now on me. But I have to say this, and this is by no means sponsored by Google or anything like that. This is just my own personal opinions. The way this feels in my hand is fantastic. This is the best feeling controller I've ever had in every single way that I that I hold this. It just feels amazing. This is by far the best controller I've ever felt of this generation. The exception is the triggers. They're very flat on the top and they don't feel good and they have no very good retention. So I don't like the triggers, but other than that though, the buttons are very clicky. They feel good. The sticks feel great. The D-pad is very clicky and it feels good. Uh, the, the, the controller itself is fantastic, but I will never use this controller because it is a special edition. I did order a white Stadia controller, which should be getting here the day this video actually comes up live on the channel. So if you guys are watching this, chances I already have the controller in my hand. So if everything goes good here on this test or whatever, I will be using the Stadia controller to play the first console exclusive, which is Guilt here on the channel. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into some testing. All right, so we are in a game. All right, so we're in a game, so let's see. So far, it looks great. But obviously, this is just the very beginning. As far as the graphical fidelity, it does look like it's about 1080p, so... This is fallen territory. We aren't safe here. I have to get you to the city. Hold still. Don't worry, I'm still with you. Alright, let's see. Fast. Are we playing now? Alright, I think we're gonna be going into the gameplay now. Okay, so here we go. Latency test and jump. This place is an old cosmodrome. Jump. A Russian spaceport. Jump. It's quarantined it now. It, it's, it's quite dangerous. Very responsive. Forward is through that wall. So far, so good, guys. I mean, I'm not really getting anything, but it looks great and it feels great. Obviously, we're not going to be playing anything this fast on Stadia, unless it's an exclusive, but uh, so far it's running amazing. I need to get you back to the city. To do that, we'll need a ship. But first, I right, we well, need to find you a weapon. Let's keep moving. This test is going amazing. Yeah, I want to get into some combat, though. I've never actually played this game before. It's a risk, but I'll what the hell is that? I will say this, this game looks interesting. I'm not the greatest FPS gamer either, just so you know. Oh shit. What was that sound? Okay, so it's opening. Oh, it's a gun. So far, so good. 
Um, I brought you back for a reason, Guardian. You're we'll see once the fighting starts. That means you're a fighter. So be ready. Oh, looks like we're getting into it. I just saw somebody. Ah! Okay. So far, so good. I haven't felt anything bad, really. Ah! So, melee right bumper. Stay focused. If your tracker blinks, there's trouble nearby. Throw a grenade. Let's punch him. Where did the last one go? There was one more, right? Who the hell shooting me? There you are. Okay, you can go ahead and die. Oh. Probably shouldn't be running towards the wall, huh? Got that guy. So far, so good. It's very responsive. There's a loot cache. Okay, Let's it's one of those hold inside. things. What did I just get? Another rifle? Actually, it's probably a shotgun. Kind of looks like a shotgun. Did I miss it? How do you shoot? Switch weapons. Oh, okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and stab him. Whoa, what the hell did I do? That was awesome. Ooh, this shotgun is strong, dude. This game is running fantastic. I'm actually very surprised. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was kind of nervous before this. Ah! More fallen. Hit him with everything you've got. Well, what if I don't have much? Let's go! Ah, miss. I kind of like this game. How come I've never played this before? So I just saw Stutter. Very, very, very minor though. Oh shit. Probably should be paying attention. <laughs> hey, what's up, buddy? Oh my god, are they ever gonna stop? All right, maybe I'm supposed to just run. How come I never played this game? This game is pretty good. I'll locate a ship we can use to fly home. Oh look, somebody else is here. Hi. Heads up! What the hell is that? Raiding party. They're more trouble than I thought. Whoa! Let's throw a grenade. If I'm gonna learn about this game right now, it's literally gonna be right here. So far so good though. I died. Is it gonna respawn or what's gonna happen? What is this? Oh, X, respawn. I guess I should've paid attention. Oh shit, he got me. I'm assuming you're supposed to shoot. Holy fuck, there's a lot of them. So far so good, man. Even in the thick of the of the battle is is going pretty good. Can I go up here? I guess not. Let's go! What the fuck? Get away from me! I'm gonna destroy him! This game is badass, actually. Let's go! 
Oh, I'm assuming we have to shoot that. Holy shit, dude, this game is insane. It is running excellent, guys. I had like a stutter, a couple stutters, but nothing major. There goes another stutter right there. That might be my internet, too. Get away from me. I'm scanning for nearby ships. I died. I'm having fun. This game is really good, actually. Let's finish this. That should be it. Woohoo! Hell yeah. Look at us, there's what, four of us? Got him. Dude, I'm just popping people left and right. I like the music. All right, I've got a signal from an old jump ship. Let's track it down. Let's go. Hey, fuck you. I can't believe I never played this game before. When we get to the city, you'll start to understand why I brought you back. And why did you bring me back? People, the promise of a brighter future and the traveler. Wait till you Alrighty. See. Hell yeah, they're sliding. Find the jump ship. Alright, open this. What did I get? What is that, a rocket launcher? Alright. Here we go. Let's take that ship. Oh, wrong button. Let's go! Oh, that was disgusting. Oh, what the hell is that? Die! This game is very good. So don't mind my destiny playing skills, cause I'm just not a good FPS shooter. Let's period. Take a look at your new ship. All right, hopefully it's a cutscene. Seems like it. It's been here a while. I think I've seen everything I need to see. This game looks and feels great. We're lucky to fall and have not completely picked it clean. Will it fly? I can make it work. I like it. So was that the first mission? Kind of seems like it. Okay, it's not going to break orbit, but it just might get us to the city. Now, above that transmission. Uh oh, we got a big guy coming. Bringing you in. We can come back for them when you're ready. Let's get you home. Hell yeah. So I'm probably gonna play this game off camera, man. Quite a bit. This game looks pretty awesome. Whenever we get out of this load screen. Or whatever I'm going to switch games because I want to try out that samurai game now I'm if I'm not good at FPS I'm even worse at beat-em-ups so <laughs> expect to see that all right so 
We're probably only gonna do like a match or something like that. Uh, win or lose, it doesn't matter. I just want to test and see how this actually works in here. We already tested the la latency in Destiny 2. We're gonna do it again really quick in this one, and then we're just gonna play through an entire, you know, match and see how that happens. And after this, we'll make the determination on whether or not I'm gonna play exclusives for Stadia here on the channel. So let's get to it. Alrighty. Here it goes. Really quick, latency. Alright. Uh, hold on. So, up. Up. So far, so good. Fight. Fight. Yeah, it's, it's great. Let's go ahead and try to see if we can win. But I suck at these kinds of games. Ah! I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> ah! Let's go! This game e is running even better so far. Whoa! I'm about to win! If it's like Street Fighter, it's probably a two-part. Look at him standing all cocky. Alright, let's try it again. Oh, she got me nasty. Ah! Get away from me! Be nice to me! Hey, I won! <laughs> I have no idea what you just said, bro. But I won! So, let's go ahead and go back to the title screen and, uh... We'll have a little chat. Alright guys, so as far as the games go, the games ran fantastic. Destiny 2 probably had the only issues and that was a little bit of stutters and stuff like that. But as far as latency goes and responsiveness of the actual controls and feedback that I was getting, the game itself was running fantastic. But again, there was a couple stutters here and there, but nothing major, nothing that was... That's going to impact me from actually doing exclusives here on the channel. So yes, that's my answer for you guys. I'm going to be doing exclusives here on the channel. So if there's exclusives that you guys want to see upcoming for Stadia, definitely let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, also on top of that, uh, let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see Stadia content, period. I know I do uh, want to make content for the exclusives here on the channel. But going back to the performance of the games or whatever, Destiny 2 uh, was the only game that had any issues. Samurai Showdown, I didn't get any issues whatsoever. So uh, when it, I I think uh, that game is probably a lot less stressful to run on their systems or maybe to stream. I'm not entirely sure how it all works out at the end. But Destiny 2 had a little bit of problems. Again, just a little bit of stutters, but nothing major, which is what I consider being fantastic. And I think this being done so well yes even with a little bit of stutters here and there it's still fantastic because my internet speed isn't that great isn't amazing it's manageable it does everything i needed to do but that's basically where it stops if i lived in a area that had better internet like say phoenix or something like that or tucson comparatively speaking to where i'm at in a, in a small little rural area of ten thousand people i mean i that, that'll just be superior or at least that's what i think but overall, the, my experience has been fantastic, and I can't wait to be playing Guilt here for you guys. So if that's something you guys are uh, excited for, do me a f huge favor and drop a like on the video because I know I personally am excited to play that game. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are not already subscribed, and catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.